So, what's up guys, and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, and you know it's Scarander. So it's been some time since I've done this narrating battle, and I missed it so much, and I'm so glad I got around to it today. I'll make sure to do it uh, as much as possible these days when I'm somewhat off work here. And, um, well, thank you everybody who's joining my stream yesterday too. You put up a lot of pressures on my team there, and it was, it was amazing, really. Thank you, everybody. So, anyway, today we're going to get a good win. Uh, Goodwin has been, you know, following me for roughly two weeks. Uh, very supportive and a very genuine good battler. And uh, we haven't been able to get into the match because I've been, like I said, somewhat busy with work and all. Uh, so really glad I pulled this off yesterday. I'm actually looking forward to this because, like I said, I knew he was a good battler. And looking at his team, he got the Exoto. Uh, I know he got the Magic Bounce there, so pretty much random Stealth Rocks useless for me because Rotom, Freeze, and Unpheasant are the pokes that. It's really, they are somewhat weak to stealth rocks, or are weak to stealth rocks. So I need to get my rocks up, but I can't do it as long as Sato is around. He's got the best you've done. Uh, Rodent Freeze, Golurk, or ugh, Garbodor. <laughs> and uh, Unpheasant, which I'm never going up against, and Sesmitude. I myself is using the Nidorina set that Stardasher and just me has been using. Uh, it's, I've done a variant on it, so I'm not using Crunch, I'm using Super Fang instead with Poison Fang, which has a 50% chance of poisoning or toxic in, and rest it dog. And I got the Expert, expert Barrel, the specially offensive uh, Electabuzz, uh, Assault Vest, Golurk, uh, Life or Noctowl, uh, hits really hard actually, Surprising works surprisingly well. Uh, Mesprit with Assault Vest knockoff, and obviously Sand Slash with Stealth Rock Rapid Spin knockoff. The biggest threat here for me is definitely the Sawtoo, so I need to work something out with this guy. Uh, I did expect him to lead with Rodum or the best you done. So anyway, let's see what actually happens here. So in the beginning here, I'm just gonna bring in Nidorina because I was thinking it can wall pretty much everything and you know get a super fang out there. He'll actually decide to bring the chicken pox. And well, I didn't think he would go for Nerf Power right away. I actually think that he was gonna I was gonna switch out to a Noxile, so I was over predicting there in the beginning. It wasn't a good move at all. Thank god for Eevee Light, but th that was that was stupid. So anyway, I'll decide to switch out there because I know I can rest against the Bastion without a doubt. And uh, he actually decided to bring a Rose, Rotom Freeze here, and I can't really do anything to it besides Fire Punch. But I know I have a Salt Fest, I should take the Blizzard well. I don't. So that means that that is thing is Specs. And without a doubt in my mind actually. So I need to preserve my mess Spritz, I'm actually going to decide to switch out. He decides to switch out too because he doesn't want to take another Fire Punch. So he actually get a good opportunity here because my Electavoy can't really do anything against the Bastiodon. Uh, he doesn't know right now if it's physical or not. I'm not gonna stay in uh, on against a sturdy <laughs> Bastiodon anyway, so I would have gone for a crush up anyway. So I actually just went for the Volt Switch, bringing Frederick, pretty much forcing him to switch because I can actually um, terrify him with an earthquake. I'm actually gonna to think that he's gonna switch out to Exotu because he, I could go for Stealth Rocks too. So he got the Magic Bounce going. So I actually have knockoff. And uh, I just gotta go for the safest move. It wouldn't have mattered if he stayed in because getting knockoff off the Bastiodon is really, really good because that means that he can go up to his third again. So the knockoff will do significant damage here. And um, you know, thinking about it afterwards, I actually should have gone for another knockoff here. But I was fearing that he could go for another or go for an energy ball, anything like that, because I have yet to see a set. And I don't want Fairy to take unnecessary damage because I need to get the rocks up. So he just decides to go for the wish there. So I know he's gonna bring uh, either like the, the Bastiodon or the Road and Freeze. So I actually did a really bad play here, not a bad play, but had I thought about it, most likely was gonna bring the Rodom, right? So I actually decided to go for the Hyper Voice, and had I gone for Heat Wave, this wouldn't have happened. And <laughs> but you know, you gotta deal with that. Like this, <laughs> this is like why <laughs> I'm so ah, oh, this is so annoying actually. So actually, I have forced to uh, sack my Nidorina, and it still hits with the uh, Blizzard. Those 70% is not working with me. So sadly, I lose my Nidorina very early. So I'm bringing Squall here. I'm actually just bringing it to force switch him, because now I know it's Scarf, please, or Specs, sorry. So I'm just gonna go for Flamethrower. I did expect the Bastion on coming. And the Flamethrower will do nothing. That, that is sad, really. Bastion is such a cool poke too. Very good at walling. Metal Burst is a very good move. So anyway, just go for a Volt Switch there. Just gonna bring Frederick again because Frederick is pretty much walling this thing. 
That is that he can't really take any damage from it. Uh, but he actually sees right through that and goes for a roar instead of stealth rocks actually. So I'm bringing in my Mesprit. And well, my Mesprit can't really do too much here. But then again, um, I have to at least try to get uh, <laughs> the leftovers off there so he doesn't recover. So that's what he decides to do and go for the knockoff. Uh, so he finally sets up the stealth rocks. And I'm just going to expect him to... Um, Go for a Metal Burst or anything like that. I don't have a third use of Mesprit. So Zen Headbutt did actually do some fair damage there. So that tells me it's specially defensive. So I'm, I'm such a luck here in getting Frederick. I know he's going to try to switch out to um, his Assault with him. So just going for Knockoff. I can actually kill this thing with Knockoff in the long run. So it wouldn't have really mattered. Um, so finally, the Exotu is out of the way. And the reason that is so important is because now I can actually get off the rocks. And the rocks is much more useful for me than it is for my opponent. So let's actually bring the chicken pox here. And well, the problem is that I know it's especially offensive, so I actually need to bring in Hexter here. I have no idea if... Uh, I was actually hoping that he was gonna go for a uh, Skull there, but it has the Hydro Pump. And that hits a lot harder <laughs> than I thought it was going to do. A plus Sludge with there is basically finishing me off. So, not a bad play there on my opponent. I definitely underappreciated or underestimated this assessment toad. So, I'm just gonna bring Squall here. Um, he is not expecting a hidden power grass here. So, that's really s sad for him. Uh, either way, he wouldn't have, any, have a good switch into this anyway. So, it wouldn't really have mattered, but still, I uh, wouldn't have killed it with any other special move. So, when this part was coming, I knew I would still have to be forced to go for another bull switch there. I'm going to bring in Frederick yet again. Just because now I actually have an honest chance to get up Stealth Rocks, which I've been hoping to do for some time, actually. So he's gonna go for Metal Burst. They will not do anything against my Sand Slash. Which is really sad. I mean, Metal Burst is really, really well on Bastion, so it's not a bad set. Uh, I'm very lucky here um, that he decided to go for Rapid Spin. Or go in for the Protect, I mean, so I get the Stealth Rock up. Because next turn here, I'll actually go for the Rapid Spin. Because I've seen no reason of really taking it out just yet. And he'll actually decide to go for the Raw, uh, which is going to bring out my Electivire. And well, I know my Electivire can't really hurt this thing, but now I have no reason to go for a Volt Switch and try to do this sacking thing again. So I'm just going to go for Flamethrower, hoping to switch out to his Rotom actually. Uh, why? Why not? Uh, so he gets the self rock up, and I actually can't do anything about it now. And uh, I'm just going to finish it off with the Thunderbolt. The reason I went for Flame Flamethrower actually was because I wanted to do less damage. Because I didn't want to get a Metal Burst, that was the case. So anyway, we got the Alpha Male here. Uh, which has Rivalry and Quick Attack. So that set almost... And I almost killed my Electivire. <laughs> God damn, that hurt. That was actually very impressive. Had I known that, I would probably have brought my Gold Lurk right away there. So anyway, we got the Beauty Queen here. And well... This is actually rather funny. I went for the Volt Switch here. Because I know that my Assault Vested Golur can pretty much take on uh, both Rotom and this thing rather easily. And he'll actually decide to go for Explosion. I, I couldn't believe it. Like, woo, such a lucky switch in, really. This would probably not have killed my Sand Slash had I decided to go for that. But still, what, <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> So anyway, like I said, I am a salt vested there, so I should easily try and to practice Blizzard right? No. It does too much. But still though, this will actually be GG. So thank you Goodwin for this battle. It was actually really funny and it was really good to finally showcase my com complete team here. And I think you pressured me a lot there. That Exato really, really pressured me to, you know, doing like some world plays instead of actually setting up rock and playing obviously, or playing obvious. Um, so anyway, like I said, Gurin, GG. Very, very interesting and good battle. Thank you so much. And for everybody else, you know, as always, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this battle, and I know you did. Because that beauty queen doesn't feel so good, does it? Dude, that is like every teenage girl I've ever known about. Like, I just gotta puke. <laughs> nah, I'm just moving around. Like I said, guys, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, have a good day, alright? Take care, guys. Bye.